Hello everybody, it's Christine. It is day 21. So let's pull out what I've got going on here. One thing I think I'm not doing as good a job of that I need to work on possibly is working on my embellishments, you guys. Um, although this is a Scrap Room Flavors of the Month, so maybe I'll be okay. So here's our sketch. It's by, oh, it's by Scrappy Adam, Adam S. Westwood. And he's got basically uh, torn bits uh, you know what, it almost looks like he's torn it only part way down because I don't see it going all the way to the bottom. So kind of torn bits. Um, technically two photos, embellishments, and then like a little label up here with the subtitle over here. Journaling and a title. Okay, so I've got technically not two photos, but I'm on my quest to document our trip to D.C. with all my little flap uh, flowers and things I picked up. So this is from the United States Botanical Garden. And this was a picture of the U.S. Capitol, a picture of it. It's like a model inside the, this ginormous, like, greenhouse. And it had all, and it was Christmas time, so there's all these poinsettias in here. And it's just, I think it's the neatest thing. I don't know what that's made out of, if I'm honest. Like, if it's wood or what. But there was actually this, there was like the White House, there was the Supreme Court. Kind of all the main buildings were in this little garden, this little greenhouse thing. And I thought, well, this will be perfect because I have this Chanel's main character energy. And it's a Scrap Room Flavors of the Month from September 2023. So I'm a little behind on using it. Because I try to stay within a month or like within two months of my kit. So clearly I'm behind. Um, and I got it because of the florals. So, you know, let's just see what we can do here. Um, this is such a pretty little collection too. So I got the floral. I definitely kind of want to use the floral because that was kind of the point of picking it. Where's my sketch now? So if I do the floral, I could do the, I could put it on top of the ledger. So it's kind of got the white stuff in the middle. I don't know if I'll use this or not. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. Use your imagination. What a great little branding strip, you guys. Great little branding strips. Okay. So, um, and then what I'm thinking is, he's got the title here in a little photo. So what if I do like this? It's going to be taller, obviously. Um, but I actually kind of like that. And I kind of could mount it. What if I do, if I trim this in, he doesn't really show it this way. Well, he kind of does, actually. There's a green outside and a little part on the inside. Um, so it'll end up looking kind of like this. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so let me do this. Let me do a little homework. I need to trim off my branding strips, and they are good branding strips, so we're keeping those. And um, I need to trim this. I probably will mount it on white cardstock. i got to see about that. And I haven't even looked at my little journalings or my little goodies here, you guys. Oh, got away from me. What do I have in the way of journaling stuff? So there's a little label, so that's kind of nice. I could do a label up there. Um, oh, looky here. We got some florals. Although, I'm going to floral on top of floral. We'll see how that works. Little rainbow. Oh, that's cute. Oh, here's another label. So, maybe that would be better. Um, some more labels. And, I don't know if I use that or not. Little gold things. I have some gold other things, too. So, I may dig into that since I've got these. This is a neat little heart thing. That's so neat. I love that. Oh, here's lovely. Yep. So let's mess with that. I could even fussy cut some of these if I wanted to, but now that, I, I mean, if I'm tearing it, I don't know that I'll be able to do that. So let me, um, yeah, let me organize myself and I'll be back on in a minute. Okay, you guys, I have trimmed down that floral paper by a half inch and I'm gonna use my scissors uh, to cut down the middle here to um, give, a, give, a, give myself a little space to uh, basically tear this little piece out. I've done this before, um, I think it was a, it might have been a Pinterest uh, or off the board with uh, pineapple papers because uh, I found a similar one. I do love this technique. I love how you tear and give a little peekaboo paper behind and all that. Now, I will also tell you that I almost got myself into trouble, you guys, because I picked this floral paper and I start putting this thing together. I will squirt a little bit of water right here. It just allows me to kind of tear or to fold back the tears and whatnot, and then it'll hold it in place. It'll basically dry where it's kind of folded back. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, sorry, I just got a funny text. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's so rude. I don't mean to, but if I forget to put my phone on do not disturb, you get these things that they pop up on your, you know, your phone screen. Um, 
Anyways, I did all this and I kind of messed myself up because the sketch has these floral clusters indicated, right? And I'm like, well, son of a gun, after I start doing this, I might should have done the ledger paper to the outside and then the floral to the inside. But no, I really love this floral paper. So I'm not sad about my paper choice, but it definitely gave me a challenge, um, which means I do have to get off into my stash. So I've got my um, little tear here. I'm going to put my little ledger as a peekaboo. And I think this looks really cute. I, I have to say, I really, actually, I just got this one little sampling of this collection. And I'm kind of kicking myself, you guys. I think this is so pretty. This is definitely, uh, I guess I'm going to say my style. Um, I struggle to define my style many times because there's, I, I just, I find myself all over the place <laughs> loving various different things. Like I love 49 and Market and Graphic 45 and Bow Bunny and American Crafts Almost Anything. So, I mean, it's funny. I don't really have, I don't, it's difficult to define my style, but this one, I have to say, attracts me quite a bit. Initially, I wasn't going to gut this blue, but I decided I needed to mount my photograph. I have it on the white cardstock, but I decided I definitely needed to have the blue as another mat. So I'm going to gut this because I didn't want to cut into my other full sheet because I still have that striped paper. And now that I've worked with this collection, I may have to go buy some more. <laughs> so um, I gutted that. So I have my little photo mat here. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't, I don't actually uh, distress any of these. Um, other than the tear down the middle, it's all pretty clean lines. Um, I don't even add any ink or anything either, by the way. So I got this, and initially I thought to put the uh, map stuff on the left side because that's where he shows the title and the sketch. But I ended up putting it on the right side. And you'll see why in just a second, I think. But um, I've got this kind of glued down now. I used some Nouveau glue because I found it so far. I've been doing that the last... I don't know, several bunches of layouts here. I'm definitely finding it easier to get my papers on straight. <laughs> so that is definitely my solution. And then also this little notebook paper thing here, I thought, you know, I really kind of want to use that. So I started to put it on that side and I go, that's not going to work. That's why that's part of the reason I switched these. So I'm going to do this and I like this a lot, but I'm sitting here thinking in my head going, I'm going to fast around in just a minute with the embellishments here. There's some, you know, there's some florals I showed you, butterfly, that sort of thing, but putting them on top of this other floral paper it, it just wasn't going to work. And I'm like, okay, shoot, what do I do? <laughs> um, what do I do? You know, I'm kind of having a panic attack. No, I shouldn't say panic attack. That's too strong of a word. But I'm just sitting here going, oh, shoot, you guys, this is going to be really hard. I like the butterfly. That does kind of stand out. And I'm looking at these little things. I decide I like that word beautiful that's in the little tear apart tags. I'm going to use that actually. Um, I'll get these florals. I'm thinking, okay, he's got some florals kind of going across the tear at the top. I look at this little gold set of letters. I really like this. I don't actually use any of it, you guys. I love that label up there. That's okay. I'm sticking with that. But I'm thinking to myself, Christine, you got to find something to ground your embellishments. Because right now, if I stick anything on these florals, they're, they, it just gets lost. I thought that rainbow might go inside. That's not where that stays either. I pull this frame out. I love this too. Doesn't go. <laughs> Doesn't go. I see lots of possibilities. Um, but again, I've kind of set myself up in a way with this paper to not be able to do it exactly the way the sketch would show. So I'm like, okay, well now what do I do? Well, I run off to my stash, you guys. And I had these doodle bug doilies and they're a hot pink and they're a perfect match for this collection. And so basically where he kind of had the florals is where I've decided to kind of put the, the little doilies. Um, the one in the top right there in the, in the middle of the tear piece, that's not going to be that way. I'm just kind of holding its spot. So, um, I've, I'm going to start gluing stuff down here. I will tell you that I end up gluing the, the visitor guide map down. So I'm not going to be able to open it. Most of the other ephemeras or the other maps and things I've done, I have set it up where I can open them. But I didn't do it here. <laughs> I decided I decided it was okay. Um, it's just showing like where we were. I think the rest of the stuff inside was like hours and things like that. And I might should not have glued it all down, but I did. I just did. Um, so I've got my two doilies there on the left side of the little picture. I am going to call this so beautiful because I did go to my stash and I have some silver letters. So instead of the gold sparkly stuff, I went with silver and in just a second, I'll tell you why. So, um, I'm going to put this little butterfly down on this little doily and I'm going to use some foam to hold the doily up just a little bit. And I'll actually end up putting foam behind my butterfly as well. I did put foam underneath the word beautiful, or if I haven't already, I will, I'm not sure what I've glued down at this point. My apologies. The butterfly is going to get up on foam as well because it was definitely um, 
because I did put the photograph up on phone too. I think I've already done that at this point. Um, here's where I'm trying to find a piece. I've got a little baggie full of like spare foam pieces that I've cut up and I try to, I'm trying to go to those first because I am running low on my foam. I need to get some, but by the same token, I've got a ton of, you know, foam squares and things, but this stuff is a lot less expensive. So I kind of need to get some of these. I've been going through the, oh no, I hadn't glued it down yet. Cause I hadn't even glued down my, my doilies or nothing. So here's where I'm going to glue down my photograph and I'm going to glue my doilies down just a moment. And I don't use the glue on the doily. I have found if I try to put glue on the doily, I tear them. So what I'll end up doing is putting the glue on the, the ATG stuff on the paper itself so that I can just stick the doily to it. And I'm actually really pleased with these doilies. I think this actually really helped it a lot because I was like, oh my gosh, I have got myself into a hot mess. Now, once I glue beautiful down, um, I'm going to actually put sew down first. So it's going to be, it's going to be so beautiful. And I'm like, okay, this looks really kind of, I like this a lot. I'm not even happy with this. And I'm going to put foam up behind the word beautiful. Again, I'm actually just trying to bring these up, honestly, to the same kind of level as the photograph because it's, it's up on a foam and it's kind of needs to be, and plus so is up on foam. So I'm just bringing beautiful up a little bit and you can kind of see me just sticking little pieces on here. You guys don't ever throw your tiny pieces away. You can use those little foam pieces you just piece them together if you want to. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but I do. Now, here's where I'm going to pull a little trick. I'm going to tuck this piece in under the torn edge there. And in just a minute after I get my label glued down, I'll use foam on this as well. Um, this is a kind of a dimensional layout. I, I think it looks kind of cool, though. Like I said, I actually love this layout. I'm not unhappy with it, but it was definitely one of those... I had to pro solve some problems <laughs> for myself and still stay inspired by the uh, sketch. So I've got my little foam pieces. It's going to take me just a second to do this. I will end up with string too, but that's at the very, very end. And I'll actually pull my date stamp out and date stamp on that label. I've already got where I am. So it, now it's more just, you know, dating it. Um, I have a picture of the three of us in the in this place. I don't know that I've scrapped it yet, to be honest with you. I need to think on that. I need to really get an album to put all this stuff in. I was kind of putting it in with all the, like, I've got Christmas trips, and I'm like, I need to really get an album for each of those, I think, because I've kind of mixed them together, and now I don't think I can remember what I scrapped. <laughs> um, okay, so here's why I decided to go with the Silver Sew title. I have this hip kit stuff here that came... I don't remember what month this was, you guys, but it has got these little silver floral pieces. And they're like, you know, tall, skinny, flowery type things. And I thought this will be so pretty on this layout. And it doesn't add color, right? It adds um, texture and shine and stuff. And it's floral, so you can see what it is. And I thought this is perfect. So I'm adding these little tall, skinny flower pieces on top of the floral paper. And I have to be honest, I love how this looks. I think this turned out amazing. And it goes with my little title of sew up there. And there's also little circles on here. So like little dot looking things. So I'm gonna end up adding those little dots too um, in little groups of three. And I'm, I'm just gonna, I just love it. I think this looks great. Um, I'll put one more little leaf at the top up there. He's gonna kind of poke out. I had to figure out what orientation I wanted, but he's gonna kind of come out of the top of the little map thing there. And then I'm going to kind of look at these little um, little dots, I think, next. I'm going to add three little dots. And what struck me, what kind of inspired me to use them is on the sheet itself, they were kind of interspersed with the florals, and I thought they looked really pretty together. So I'll add three, basically, um, on each. Well, I say that. I'm looking on the one on the right-hand side, and I'm like, do I see a third one? Maybe I didn't add a third one over there. I definitely put three at the top and three on the left, and I see two on my right-hand side. Maybe I didn't put a third one. Might have run out of room. And that's what I did. And so I think, um, oh, and I had split that doily up there. If you see at the top, I, I attached it to the right side of that torn piece. So it looks like the single doily, but like it's through the paper or whatever. And here's where I add my little piece of string. And I just kind of wove it through the tag up there. And then that is all I'm going to do, you guys. I think this turned out amazing. I'm not going to lie. The, the colors are just really bright and fun and energetic. And I do not think Scrappy Adam will mind that I went a tad rogue. I think uh, that's kind of him as his M.O. as well. So... No problem, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the playlist. Uh, there's tons and tons of tons of creative, talented people playing along. I just love this series. There's actually a ton of great series throughout the year, but this is, this is a fave. So make sure you check out the playlist and give everybody love, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.